call 219 we can go over this real quick this is some of the stuff that i carry besides a pistol into the woods with me and, and shotgun or uh crossbow because i use a crossbow uh but the first thing i carry is this this carries my sd cards and my card reader you can slide it right in there uh, it's got different little uh, uh ports for your uh whatever phone you carry I use those. I like to use them in the blind. If, if I'm snagging some SD cards, I can look and uh, see what's going through the area. If I have to move or, you know, there's nothing in the area. Uh, it worked real well for some long sits uh, that I did in the tree stand last year. Uh, so I'll carry that. I'll make sure I'll put a rubber band behind uh, around this or a hair tie. That way it's not clanging in my pocket. Uh, when we get, when we're into this point, where the season's about to kick off. I don't carry a lot of this stuff. Usually this is when the deer are going around. They're mingling, they're figuring out who's in the area, what what they're up against, especially the bucks, you know, who to mess with, who not to mess with, who's in the area, uh how many how many does are in the area. So this is a this is a great time. This is almost the best time where you're really going to catch a deer uh, unless you unless you're uh you're antler hunting. Uh during the rut though uh, i'll switch it up i'll still bring that but i'll bring these tools right here which is my grunt call this is a, a hs strut it's got young buck call on there a mature buck a rutting buck and then a doe bleat and the tube extends in case i want to try and fool their ears a little bit and position them into a shot lane uh, i did that last year uh, with a doe um, and got her into the shooting lane that I had made so uh, it's effective there's all kind types of different uh, doodads that you can use all kinds of different manufacturers uh, this is a rattle bag uh, I use this definitely during the rut uh, it's worked out uh, for me where I've called a couple of uh, young curious bucks in these are like little plastic pieces and you can uh, subtract them or add them to get your kind of uh, your benefit of how loud you want you want the clanging to be again I put a rubber band around this that way when I'm walking I'm not making any noise while this thing's rattling around um, I do carry a fanny pack and I can house the majority of this stuff in my fanny pack but I also have some pockets and things like that uh, what I definitely carry is my skinning knife and then my bone saw or you know i'll use this to cut the pelvis of the deer uh, i definitely carry these all year round um, this one does have a loop on there but if i'm hunting from a tree stand i don't like things hanging off my waist again i don't want it to hit the runs or hit the stand itself and start clanging around and making noise uh, you want to be as quiet as possible entering and exiting uh, your hunting area and then you know worse comes the worse the doe bleats and then the fawn bleats uh, if I'm really struggling at that point, I'll I'll pull this this little trick out of the hat, and uh, these have worked well. Uh, I've shot a doe with these, uh, tricked her, and and put her into a, a shooting lane, uh, and took a shot on her. Uh, these work well. Again, there's all kinds of different uh, uh, manufacturers. This one's a Primos. Um, this was called the Can Family, and it was cheaper than just buying one bleat. Uh, because this one came with a doe bleat and some fawn bleats, um, that that's a that's a good technique to use is the fawn bleats. So this is basically what I carry besides a handgun uh, during bow season uh, or crossbow, whatever you're going to carry. Uh, I again those my crossbow is a little bit odd; it's uh, cumbersome. So again, I don't like to carry a lot of stuff into the woods with me uh, to minimize the noise. But when it comes around uh, gun season, uh, the good thing about bow season is you can hunt all year round. So even when you have a shotgun during firearm season, you can still carry your bow if you like or leave it in your tree stand or leave it in your blind. Uh, that way, if you don't want to you know, swing a rifle or a shotgun around, you, you have an option of using your bow or crossbow. Uh, if you have a longer shot, you have the option of using your shotgun or rifle uh, or muzzle loader at that point. Uh, so there's a lot of different uh, ways that you can you can do your loadout. It's up to you what you want to do. Uh, again, I try and carry as minimal as possible uh, because again, you know, 
you're lugging this stuff in there and if you do get a deer you're lugging your stuff and your deer out so you don't want to like you know really bog yourself down uh, with that kind of technique unless you have access to an SUV or you have a pretty big hunting space where you can get a truck in there uh, when I shot my buck we had a, uh, a a plow so that was easy we just load them into the bucket and right to the right to the skinning booth so uh, this is basically what I carry um, again it's coming up pretty fast I'm really excited I've been seeing a lot of pictures on Facebook and Instagram right now it's uh, 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 the little kids that are hunting uh, they're really putting in work you can see them uh, on some of the videos that I've watched that uh, they're getting excited uh, they're taking animals uh, they're filling the freezer uh, so the youth the youth season I see is very strong uh, which is really cool and again turkey season and deer season are intertwining and again you can use uh, crossbow or shotgun for either deer or turkey so it's a it's going to be a good year I think uh, just by seeing some of the pictures here in my home state of Indiana there's a lot of people that are getting uh, uh, really lucky and they're harvesting a lot of good looking animals uh, so that's a plus so basically this is just what I carry um, try not to overload yourself uh, this is a great time for you to take a deer uh, in my area it's it's not too hot and it's not too cold it's the perfect temperature uh, to lay a deer down and then uh, get it gutted and uh, ready to hang so hopefully that'll help you in kind of limiting of what you're going to take in there and always remember to you know rubber band your stuff up or try not to take stuff that's really super noisy snacks is well, one more little side note snacks take take all that stuff out of the wrapper whether you're using like i used to i take uh used to take nutrigrain bars i'm going to do it again this year that's another good feature put them in like some kind of bag that doesn't crackle and crunch take them out of the wrapper throw them in that bag and you'll be good to go and you, you'll have probably a successful year this year, the, the way things are shaping out, especially with the youth hunt this year. So hopefully come uh, the rut season, uh, when things start to really kick off, uh, you're successful. So that's what I carry. I like to thank my old and my new subscribers and just the people that zip through. I greatly do appreciate it. Um, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Do it for everybody you watch on YouTube. And happy hunting, and like always, we'll catch you on the next one.